I want you to use a big uh, paper to draw a big picture because small one you can do it at home you know you can do it anywhere kind of and then if you're doing small picture all the time you can't do big ones but if you do big ones you can do a small one it's very, become very easy uh, why how to see all this perspective on all this um, proportion angle and tone the drawing is about and so I want you to draw big picture it doesn't have to be expensive paper, I'm just cartridge paper will do. And uh, this drawing board to back up support this paper, you need something, uh, it doesn't have to be drawing board, but maybe even cardboard, something flat will do. And then you stick this um, paper onto the backing board, uh, just masking tape is enough, and then just fix this corner. But when you do fix a paper, make sure all this edge is parallel to this, uh, you know, edge, whatever. Don't sort of, you know, stick it on diagonal or anything like that. And uh, the thing I want you to use is charcoal, something called charcoal. It's kind of burnt wood. Um, there is kind of assorted one, probably maybe easier. Assorted one, thick one, medium and thin one. So that you, know, you can use in various occasions. And I, I'll tell you why you use charcoal. Because when the paper becomes big, imagine if you have to cover all this with pencil. It takes so much so much time and also when you have when you make mistake you have to erase so many parts. But with this charcoal it's a bit like sort of blackboard and chalk. It's kind of, think about this is blackboard and then this is the chalk. So you can just draw, like I just draw, and then you can wipe with tissue or something, you know, instantly like that. That is why, and I also want you to see more bigger perspective, to see, um, not small picture, but because world is big, and then you have to be able to see more free um, feeling. And the charcoal is uh, ideal for that sort of things. And you can, you know, you can capture a huge area like this. And then you can use a side of this charcoal, and then instantly you can cover a huge area like this. And if you use this edge or sort of corner, you can draw something very sort of delicate thing. Um, and in my drawing, what I want you to do is, I don't want you to trap in the detail, you know, sort of way, but you want to see shape of the mountain, shape of the lake, you know, shape of whatever. This whole, whole sort of atmosphere and all this. That is why, and then that's why you use big picture to cover up huge area. And uh, if you practice that way, and uh, if you're able to draw sort of first big chunk to gradually go into detail, but detail kind of, you can never sort of satisfy your need. <laughs> need. It's, I call this detail things is kind of like trap. If you get into this trap, you can never get out. So don't fall into the trap, but stand back from the picture and then see whole if it's balanced or harmonious you know that sort of thing is much more important than this little fiddly detail this is what me so that's why i want you to do big picture and then for that it's kind of yeah this uh, charcoal is quite ideal because you can wipe off whole things and all this quite easily so you feel you feel more freer to express what you want to express. See? So maybe sort of next step I'll show you with you you know how to do this proportion, angle and tone. And with this tool you can draw anything anything at your hand.